and the trend. Uh, Cool. And so Pete, oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, how can we best set up newsletter information stream? Thank you. Um, I appreciate that question a lot. Um, I think the main thing is uh, if we go to the, uh, if we go to the inbox uh, document and write up whatever we know about OGM, at least, that would be super helpful. Which inbox document do you mean? Um, the, there's a, um, there's a document where I, I kind of, this one. <laughs> oh, good. I had missed that one somehow. Cool. Google Doc. Um, um so especially, I can't believe that Google Doc doesn't have line. Uh, line numbers. But anyway, um, one of the first things uh, we can talk about conversations, you know, we can talk about, I don't know. Um, now, you and I created a page on OGM, actually on the OGM website mm -hmm. for current projects, Yep. which I was showing uh, Stacy yesterday. Yep. Do we want to ignore that? Or do we want to post to it? in some way here or what is um, possible? I, uh, let's see, let me find that page. Now that's that's clearly open global line projects because it's under the OGM umbrella on the OGM website and you're publishing mostly about the flotilla, I think. No, this is supposed to be whatever. Well, by flotilla, I mean the various allied uh, groups. Well, yeah, so um, if you look down, um, uh, the pedagogy folks have, have got a, actually, I think, a really good update. Um, so, you know, the, there should be an OGM section basically, and OGM has got, you know, here's what's going on with OGM. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Does that make sense? Or, yeah, that's kind of what I mean. So um... then um, I don't see the oh, current projects. Cool. Um, I'm not going to copy over Chove. That oops, let me get this way. So here's what's on the current projects page. Right. And if we can fill this out, that would be fine. Um, so tell that we've already got two. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I think. I, maybe we can say something about OGM, build OGM. I don't know. Um, uh, the conversations thing is something that is kind of new in the past couple of weeks, and most you know not everybody would know about. If if you weren't in the mailing list, you wouldn't know about um, um, about the conversations going on there. Uh, this is also an opportunity to kind of steer the conversations to Mattermost channels if we want to. We could set those up now, actually. Which has not worked at all, has it? Like our, um, our request to shift the conversation over to Mattermost just didn't well, we, work. well, <laughs> everybody was... it differently. Oh, um, okay. We haven't we haven't really requested to. So I, I think uh, we talked about setting up a um, maybe a money and value channel, and we talked about maybe setting up a different one, which I thought was the Civil War. I don't know if that that was. But anyway, we, I don't think we set up channels for this. I don't think okay. we directed channel, directed people specifically to a channel. Specifically into the topics. Um, um, we, okay. we, haven't, um, we haven't killed the mailing list, but I know that yeah. we're not going to do that. <laughs> Can I, I just want to say something about the Civil War thing, because I think what's happening is what there was something within the Civil War thread that happened to be what Sam Rose was talking about. And I think that so those two conversations are getting confused into, you know, because it's called civil war, but that particular conversation that led to a pop up call wasn't about the civil war. And when I typed civil war into the into the stock, it was a couple of weeks ago, a week and a half ago or something like that. And we I I, I the, the civil war civil war conversation has kind of stalled out, I would say, probably. 
and we could replace that with the sense making conversation if we wanted. Well, that to. that's where I created the sense doing channel on Mattermost and said, "Hey, let's carry it over here." And that that's the fail I'm referring to. Yeah, gotcha. Is that no? Like pretty much nobody went over there. Actually, Kevin made a couple of posts over there in the channel, and then Johan apparently stalled trying to build a Mattermost ID and just log into the to the server, which is now fixed. So thank you for that. So, um, so if if we wanted the conversation to move, um, uh, then just a, a a quiet request isn't good enough, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, we'd have to have um, a, a barn raising thing, you know. Um, probably email individual people directly and say, you know, can you move over to Mattermost? Um, and then you and then on the mailing list, you can start. You know, once the conversation is going a little bit on the on the channel, you can go to the mailing list and say, hey, look, this is what we've just talked about. You're missing, you know, this stuff. But also, um, I think copying the mailing list and pasting it in to the Mattermost would be, would be, might be helpful because then it's like, hey, look, we just copied everything we've said here and it's over there. Uh, keep going over there. And then probably in addition to what you just said, uh, giving everybody a little bump when they post on this topic back to the mailing list and say, uh, it's over there. Yep. Okay. Um, and should there be a different channel for um, the money conversation, which we haven't set up? Um, uh, it, it depends on, um, let me look at Mattermost real quick. And Um, and maybe I'll share my screen while I do that. Um, it, it depends. It depends how much we we feel like we can support, you know, if it's um, if it's if it's a conversation that that's kind of a, a small conversation and and time bound, then um, then I'm not sure I would make a separate right. separate channel for it. Uh, if it's going to be if we're going to to pump energy into uh, into the channel and it's going to be an ongoing conversation, then yeah, it makes sense to do it. Um, um, cool. I've got for for what it's worth. Um, Rob Rob and I are starting to talk a little bit about reorganizing a bit. Um, um, mostly actually to Rob's idea was to uh, use the the prefix the prefixes for more things um, to organize to organize this better the, the list of things that aren't prefixed mm -hmm. um, uh, I've got um, I've got a really good post for a money channel so if OGM doesn't want to start a money channel I think I probably would um, for CSC basically and then OGM could have a money conversation in that channel if it wanted to. Um, another thing that that has gone on is that uh, we've got a bunch of channels that are not not well used, and so Rob's observation was, you know, my sidebar is getting long, um, mm -hmm. and part of that is just uh, channels that that you know got started but haven't really haven't really thrived, and um, I I I think maybe we should start trimming those and. You know, so I guess it's not OGM's responsibility to, to do do the rest of those channels, but um, uh, forum beat reporting should go away probably. Co coaching maybe go away, or we should try to revive it. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, part, but, partly, if if um, if Mattermost had a feature that said, "Show me, don't show me, don't show me channels that haven't had any activity in the last two months." If it just had a feature like that, we wouldn't have to worry about this because the things would sort of naturally sunset themselves. And then every now and then you could browse um, them all. Yeah. Um, a newer version of the, the mobile one already does this. The new version of Mattermost will sort. Right. Which is how I, which is, the which is how I catch up. Which is how but I there's, catch up. There's just, you know, there's there are channels that just don't need to exist. Um, uh, like forum beat reporting as well. Yeah. Um, I guess I haven't really thought about 
about archiving these or whatever, but um, the, you know, I, I think uh, it's hard for me to say that there should be an OGM wiki channel. Um, the outreach channel is, you know, um, the welcome wagon channel. Mm. You know, there's just channels that there's there's no reason for them to be around, basically. Mm -hmm. Um, so even if they were them? sorted someplace, you know, um, it's, it's just cruft. Um, so on the money conversation, uh, it feels to me like there's sort of at, at least two conversations there. One was the broader umbrella. One was Grace's specific project. I invited Grace to create a, her own channel around the project, which feels like a good idea. <clears throat> um, but I don't know that she's comfortable in the Mattermost chats yet. And she hasn't taken us up on that. Um, but we could ask and figure out if she'd like to do that. Because that, that feels like a good place to, to coordinate what she's trying to get done. Go ahead, Stacey. The sense, the sense I got from her is just that she was really busy right now. And she yeah. needed a few weeks. But she was interested. I think she was interested. Cool. Um, and then... And then the other one feels to me like a really big, broad conversation that cuts across our different projects and maybe doesn't need to be held in any one of the entities um, about money, value, wealth, abundance, uh, all those kinds of things. And, and it, it's like, a, I think there's, there's a, a, a rich conversation there that certainly like is channel sized. Um, so maybe we start one for that and then say, hey, Grace, ping whenever you want, and we'll help you start your own project channel. But for now, let's take this conversation over there. Does that make sense? Um, I would, uh, it, it does make sense. Um, to start that that second channel, I think I would, or the, the other channel, um, uh, I think I would ping some of the, the usual suspects and ask them if they would participate or not. Um, so creating a channel out of whole cloth and, and then hoping people attend is uh, we don't we don't have the we don't have the kind of the volume um, that that makes that happen. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the thing to do is to construct the channel a little bit socially um, and then launch it. If um, you know, if we can construct it socially. Which we could also do by picking a topic and making a call around it and saying, okay, here, we're going to do this and curate it and guide that conversation over onto the channel, et cetera, et cetera. That, that would be one, one thing that would help. It, it's, um, uh, it's, th th that would definitely help. Um, uh, it's important to get uh, personal commitments from at least a few people um, or, you know, not, maybe commitment is even too strong of a word, but um, instead of having a thing that says, you know, here's a here's a discussion we're having, and here's a place where we could have it. That's not enough to draw the link, right? Um, here's a discussion we're having, um, you know, and here I've asked three or four or five or six people. You know, I'm going to make a discussion. Can you be posting in it, in it this week? We're, I'm going to make a channel. You know, uh, if we start having conversations here, would you attend? Um, would you push things? Would you, you know, would you bring up stuff? Um, and making it personal, making it a personal ask rather than a group ask that nobody, you know, nobody feels, everybody feels like somebody else is going to be making, you know, making stuff. Let me ask the question backwards. Um, aside from coffee shop type, whatever, you know, anything goes kind of channels, which are the most successful channels right now in you know, your the, eyes? The weirdest thing. I, I, I'm very super pleased, but um, I'm, I'm super surprised. Off topic, it's got the most people in it. Um, and it's probably got a, a large amount of traffic. But off topic and town square and coffee shop are all sort of similar. Gossipy ones, yeah. Right. Um, of, of, so the substance, me, of the focus channels, are there any that are actually thriving? Because um, maybe this community just doesn't use this medium in that way. That's what, um, I'm, that's what I'm wondering. Yeah, the, the, well, it, it, it's, it's almost a different thing, right? Um, so any, any community conversation, social stuff is long tail. Um, um, Pareto, what's, what's the best word for that? Um, uh, so there are one or two people who are the, 
the the anchor anchor posters right um and then you know it, it trails off from there if you don't have an anchor poster um you the rest of the people won't think about posting into it if you do have an anchor poster you get people that that post along because oh it looks like there's activity here so um I'm, i you can see my screen right yeah um the green bar just went away for some reason hmm. um so that whole anchor poster thing is leading up to so block cheney has, has got some reasonable stuff uh, books is new actually i think by rob um Uh, game based sense making. Uh, Jack's doing anchor posting, I think, and it's got some, you know, some traffic. Uh, maps and, and Stacy, that might be interesting for you for the idea you were suggesting at the beginning of this call too. Yeah, I didn't even know it was there. Yeah, um, maps and mapping is um, is active, and there's a. This one is inter kind of interesting. I think there's. It's not quite. There's, it's got enough. Um, it's got enough volume from a few people that it's kind of self-sustaining. Um, uh, tools and technology is a really good, that's an active one. And then for there, I'm, I'm the anchor poster. Mm -hmm. uh, tools and technology is, is a good example of, of an active channel. And, didn't, even, didn't even know there was UX, UX of knowledge. Yeah, I think this is fairly new and I don't think it's got, it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't have critical mass in it huh. at all. So, so, so in, instead of saying, I think this community, or, you know, maybe this community doesn't, doesn't converse that way. Um, the way I, the way I look at it, we haven't, Um, we haven't set up the conditions for the community to use use any of the channels well. Um, I mean, it's just sort of, you know, natural traffic or, or whatever. And um, well, some people like Jack Park is really active on uh, in a bunch of places on it. Uh, Rob is active. Uh, Charles has sort of come back in and is posting and, you know, he's not he's not in our Zooms, but he's on the on the Mattermost. Um, there's a few people who, who kind of like it and frequent it and bounce around in it. Mm -hmm. um, but as a community, we're not using it that well. And I just, what's going on here? I just restarted Mattermost because I rebooted my machine last night and it's only showing me like one channel. <laughs> That's weird. I, I had a weird thing the other day, last week or something like that, where it was, it was really confused and I actually un uninstalled the app and reinstalled it. Really? Yeah, because I'm 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 only coming back up into Free Jury's Brain, which was the last channel I had active. Everything else is gone. My direct message history is gone. Everything's gone. Yeah. I, are you uh, using the app? Yeah. I don't know what that is, but I would uninstall it and reinstall uh, it. Okay. I'm just going to restart it and see if that helps at all. Um, uh, you can also hit it on the web browser if you want to see what's going on. Yeah. Wow, that's weird. So Pete, I think you're absolutely right about the anchor posters. And I'm I'm just wondering if we had, again, a conversation, because we have people that like to talk about which channels to even have. Like, I'm just thinking like with kids, when you want to get them to eat, you help you have them make the meal. I'm just wondering if we spoke to those main people that are putting all the posts in the emails and we said to them, what channels do you think that we should, you know, divide into? And would you be committed to, you know, at least get two people for each channel to, to like sort of monitor it? That might be a good idea. I, I like that idea, except I think I, it, I would make it even simpler than that. Um, and to use the kid, kid eating analogy, um, we learned with our first kid that asking, asking them, what do you want to eat? Um, wasn't wasn't a good question. It was, do you want to eat uh, pizza or or noodles today? And exactly. force the question, right? There's um, one difference. Yeah. Kids have to eat. People don't necessarily have to take the, the responsibility for posting. The, so so I wouldn't even have the conversation about what channels do you think we should have. Um, 
uh, what I would say is, hey, we've got a conversation. We've got, we, we, we think there's a nascent conversation about value and money. It seems like we've had some success with that. Would you post to a channel called OGM value, value and money, money and value? So don't even say which channels do you think, because that's mm -hmm. a, a big universe of possibility, right? It's like just a binary uh, thing. Um, so how about how about which ones might you want to help take responsibility for? Yeah, that's OK. I, I would simplify it even to that from that. You know, it's like a binary choice. There's a value, money and value channel waiting to happen. Are you in? And then if if we get no, you know, if we get crickets, then it's like, okay, build OGM call next week is brainstorming three more choices and we narrow it down to one. Would you post in a, in a conversation about um, uh, soil health? Would you post? Actually, it's, the other thing is we've got some generative commons is a, is a place where we've got a little cul-de-sac that we built that that nobody, nobody attends, right? Um, so, we should also try to fill in conversations we think we want to have that we've kind of gotten started and you know and where is i'm sorry i, I kind of <laughs> I, where is that place where we would put in conversations that we want to have uh, in the build lgm channel i i think i i to the to the general population i would ask a binary question we're starting money and values. You know, are you interested? And and then I wouldn't ask that in plenary until I've asked personally and gotten a, a, a positive answer from a couple of anchor people, right? Right. Got it. Um, so so then if nobody rises to the bait on money and values, then next week Bill Joe GM, the channel, gets to talk about, you know, okay, I guess either we either we need to double down on our outreach or we need to kill that idea and come up with the next one. Uh, which is social justice and you know and and um, global equity or something like that you know whatever right <clears throat> is there a so, channel just for collaboration just for information regarding collaborations um what kind of collaborations anything like just um you know getting you know any kind of information about getting communities to work better together, any channel related to that? Tools and technology, oddly enough, is, is pretty good at that. Um, so Tilla does some of that too. Um, okay, I, I kind of dropped something in the new sense doing channel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so maybe in this conversation, um, uh, what we've come to, come to is that OGM is kind of meh on, on Mattermost in general. Um, maybe it's a good like place for people to belong to so they get announcements and stuff. And maybe, well, the way I think of it is we haven't done enough to um, foster uh, conversations here. But another way to think of it is that o OGM, however it's set up, you know, doesn't doesn't want to have conversations here. So um, I, I really I really like the Metamo server. I think that we've had multiple really interesting conversations there, but they kind of you know spark and die. And we don't and we have a few people who are stalwarts, but not really the community over here talking. And I'd love to do that, to have us like over here rather than over on the on the Google group. Um, and I don't and I to, and to make that happen, we have to facilitate it. Yes, exactly, exactly. And, and and one alternative also is to like kill the Google group, and I, I just I don't really want to do that. Um, but that means we have to light a fire over here and get people over by the bonfire. So uh, instead of a, instead of a topic based thing, um, maybe we could start building volume in an OGM general channel. Um, so I think calls should get renamed to something like general. Um, uh, however, we, you know, we want to language that and then and then we could actually even um, do money and value conversations in the general channel. Um, uh, I think the facilitation team would want to have kind of a public um, top, topics uh, calendar um, and, and purposely, you know, purposely start conversation there and, and 
and again drag people into it by the lapel and say okay this week we're going to talk about you know censoring we already have a channel for so i guess we would have that that conversation there but maybe if a, a a topic comes up a new topic comes up on the mailing list then you know drag that person the, the main person over and plop them down in the general channel and and then announce the fact that it's moving um so should i start an email or should one of us start an email right now to six people asking about money and value um i think maybe um i think let me share again sorry to keep bouncing back and forth or should we ask should we invite the six or eight people we think have been most active on Mattermost and like it the most and contribute the most and, and have a strategizing call with them and say, hey, here's what I like I that. Can. Yeah. Um, I don't, I don't, except I don't think we need to. Um, there's a little bit of analysis by paralysis there. Um, we, the three of us are quorum for doing, you know, deciding what and and well, I'm, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking of that as the same thing as the email asking them, hey, would you participate if it were called this? That like, if it's going to, you know, we could send an email and wait for responses, or we could just say, hey, let's let's get together. Here's what we're thinking. That's all I'm thinking. Um, so I like the idea of sending an email. Um, I, another 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 proposal I've got is to take the calls channel and call it the anchor channel, um, and then rename it to something better than calls. Uh, this actually, this channel actually has, you know, a decent number of people and it gets decent traffic more or mm -hmm. less. Um, and, and people know it's here. Mm -hmm. So rename this to OGM main. Yeah. Something like that. Um, let me see. CTA actually had general discussion. That's mm -hmm. a really good one. Um, Can anyway. Yeah. I, yeah. I just want to say, I think the reason that people, and we should ask, but I think the reason that that has a lot of things that people go there to look at the recordings of the calls. Yes, and um, we purposely, uh, Jerry did a yeoman's job for um, for a couple months saying, okay, um, please stop talking in the Zoom chat and go to this channel, this particular channel. Um, so we, you know, and, and that's one of the reasons we've got 74 people in here. And one of the reasons people keep coming back to it, it's partly for the, the call posting. For me, actually, partly it's because the link is here, um, but it's also because we've pushed here, people here a lot. Um, so we need rename this uh, main or general discussion or whatever, um, and then have the money conversation start here. And then if it gets critical mass and needs to be spun out to its own channel, we do that. Um, uh, but we might want to market this channel by having the, the money and value conversation here rather than starting a separate money and values uh, channel. Um, I kind of like that, but I kind of don't because I sort of. Um, it, it would swamp, you know, it would it would kind of push out people having other conversations. Right, right. Um, and, and in a strange way, that channel now serves as the archive for the videos and the chat files and whatever else if somebody wants to find them. And that would that would actually get harder to do if it was if this was an active channel about some other topic. Yeah. Um, go ahead, Sarah. What about, what about if it was like, you know, build is after the call. So you go there to watch the call and then you could talk about the call there and then you see what conversations come out. But like, you know, it would be the, you know, you, you're expecting to go there to talk about the call. So it's there, the Zoom link is there and any conversation you wanna have after. It's a good idea that the problem is the, the calls are like a different modality. So when people leave the call, they don't think they want to discuss it more. <laughs> They're like, it's like after Thanksgiving, right? Oh, it's like, wow, that was amazing. And but, but I'm gonna, and I want to ask Jerry if he feels the same way, because I know you feel that way, but I think there are a lot of people that really, I mean, that really want to go back to the call. I mean, so, Jerry, how do you feel? Mm -hmm. and, and I like the idea a lot of the conversation continuing in the channels. I mean, I, I'm, 
uh, and I think a bunch of people still have ideas after the calls. They're like, no, 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 this thing didn't feel right. What about this? I mean, that, that would so, be just So fine. maybe a way to do the transition is to s start the like screen share Mattermost. It's like, okay, we've had some amazing stuff about blah and get a couple posts going so, so that people can see it. Um, instead of, you know, I, the, there's a big phase shift in the modality, right? Mm -hmm. Um, people are like all jazzed and they're, they're seeing all the faces and stuff like that. And it's like, oh, this is amazing. It's really different to go, okay, now I'm going to go over to this thing where there's no faces. There's, you know, um, there's, there's no voice. There's, so at least getting the, I, I think getting the conversation starting to move over during the call, um, pick a topic at the end of the call, do like a 90 second or two minute screen share, you know. So, oh, look, Pete's already posted something and Stacy's already posted something. Yeah. Let's keep it going over here. So, so a couple of different things. One, trying to get people to use Mattermost again during the calls instead of the chat. I, I, the only way I see that actually working really well is if Zoom had a feature that lets you swap out the Zoom chat for your favorite chat on some other server, in which case it would just show up in the interface and we'd be, we'd be gold. Short of that, I don't know that we're going to be able to shepherd people over to the, the, I, call, I the think, chat during the I think the call. we did a good job of it before. I think we tried really hard and, and it was just like hard. I and, think we and, gave up. <laughs> Well, I think because it was like hard to keep shepherding, like, you know, the, the dogs had to keep pounding the sheep. Or, or, yeah, of course it's hard. Um, yeah. That's, you know, but that's... But you think that would be worth the effort? Oh, yeah. Okay. And then the second thing is, really, there's three or four people who've been posting a bunch lately about whether it's money or civil, a civil war topic or whatever else. Um, if we get, if we just stay on those couple people to go post on the channels, that moves the conversation. You just get yeah. the frequent posters to move and, and the conversation has to move. Yeah. Um, and that's that's Kevin and Ken Homer and a couple other people. So uh, Gil, maybe Grace. Right. Right. Um, so we just we just like address them and say, hey, hey dudes, we really want this to thrive over here. That'll work. Um, I have a meta observation. Yep. Um, I, one part of me is going is 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 observationally going, oh, crap, we're not doing the inbox document at all. Um, the other part of me is going, yay, this is what this is what the bilingual dispatch uh, is supposed to do. It's supposed to drive these, you know, drive the facilitators of the the communities to go, oh crap, I don't want to think about this, but I guess I am, right? Mm -hmm. um, so it's it's the uh, the Plex dispatch is doing its job, even though we're not talking about it at all right now. Um, cool. And we can go back to that. And also, um, I'm being a little cranky about stewarding people over to the Mattermost chat during calls only because only because it didn't seem to stick that well. Not that I wouldn't love that to happen. I happen to think Jerry's right, because there are two different kinds of personalities. So yes, I know you think, Pete, that, and there will be people that will do it, but there will be other people that are more like the way Jerry and I think. I, that I, I totally agree. There's two it. different kinds of personalities. My, um... Can I just add one? I just want to say something because you mentioned before about seeing the faces. So here's my point. If there is an after conversation, people going there are, are going to first be the same people that were in the poll. So it is almost a continuation of seeing those pieces. And maybe even a second call will be planned within that area. So it is a blend of the two approaches. Hey, Michael. Hey, Michael. And a channel, a channel is probably only going to be as good as the people who are in there posting. Um, so, so, sorry. Uh, so, so, yes, Stacey, you're totally right. There are two different kinds of people. And my point is, that unless you show the people who are never going to come to Mattermost um, that there's something happening in Mattermost, they're really never going to come. So, so my, and, and Jerry, I get it. You know, it, it's totally fine to be cranky about that. We collectively haven't put enough work into facilitating moving shepherding conversations, right? Um, and when it feels hard, that's not because we should give up. When it feels hard, that means that we should maybe maybe talk about why it feels hard, or maybe sometimes just double down and do it right. 
um, facilitating is hard work. It's not, um, it, it's, it's helping people do things that feel not natural, right? Um, like in-person facil facilitation, when you're in a room, it's like, <sighs> the facilitator is bugging us again. I, I, you know, all I want to do is have a cocktail party. And the facilitator is trying to get some, you know, to, to form the cocktail party into a world cafe or something because, and at some point, the reason people nowadays will, back, back in the before times when we actually had in-person things, the reason people will sit still for a facilitator and, and do world cafe is not because world cafe is a natural thing. It's because they've done it a couple of times before and the rest of the community is, is doing it around them if they haven't done it before. And everybody knows that the world cafe is going to be, be a productive and, and generative discussion, even though it's like, I, all I wouldn't really wanted to do is come and gossip. I don't know, you know, but it, when the whole herd moves over to world cafe, it's like, okay, let's do it. And then afterwards, everyone goes, wow, that was super generative and super productive. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. We don't have a, we don't have a culture of people understanding you and what, why you would chat in Mattermost, right? So if, if we just observe that people don't chat in Mattermost, then, and, and follow that, then we're never going to build, you know, the, the muscle memory and the culture and the, the, the memories of positive things that, you know, means that, that oh, I, I want to have a conversation and I'm going to go to Manamos because it was fun last time, right? We just don't do that yet. And, and I think we should. Or we could. Um, Michael, two things. One, your image is coming through really crisper than usual and you are well lit. You're, you're like, the quality of your inbound is like bumped up. Have you done something with your place or with your gear? Had some work done. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, actually, I do. I do have a, a better light on, and that that's probably the difference. And that's it. Like because because yeah. you're. Fidelity. I mean, I'm in a different place than than I often am. I, I, you know, but, but this is a place I've been before without you saying that. And what is different here is the fact that I've got. Uh, I mean, better lighting. Well, that more what you're used to yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. sweet well done um, uh, and then and then the second thing was a question um i think you were in our ogm thursday calls when we were pushing sort of trying to hold the chat over on Mattermost, correct yeah yeah and i was just i was actually just typing into chat you know if we're talking about fostering Mattermost over zoom chat and perhaps over email and other disparate things I, I was sort of sorry as somebody who like at first grudgingly because it seemed unnatural, but then, you know, more in a more satisfied way, went over to Mattermost and tried to be in Mattermost, but then the floodgates opened in Zoom chat and that turned into the place to be. And, you know, I don't go to Mattermost anymore. I mean, it during a call and I it's not because I don't wish that were the case um it's just because it that's wasn't. not where the conversation is yeah that's not where the conversation <clears throat> is mm -hmm. and um and you I think you and everybody were more concerted about hey the chat's not here you know just posting that and and pushing people over to matter most and I know some people just refuse to go but um, but is, I, I is, what's the value in having the chat in Mattermost or does oh, it not? Totally, totally. No, I thought it was better because, you know, it allows you to attach images and links and those good things. It keeps it persistent. It allows it to go on beyond the end of the call. It allows you to immediately read back if you need. I mean, there's everything, everything is better about it, honestly. Um, Except that it's another window except that it's another window. Right. But even that is sort of an advantage <clears throat> because um, I'm still like trying to work out not having share screen hijack my Zoom into full screen, um, which I think I did manage to do in one browser and then lost, I can't remember how to do it. I, um, I, yeah. I found a trick where if you right click over the arrows that uh, over the, the widgets that give you screen thing, you can do split screen right. And what I was doing was 
um, I was splitting the screen between Mattermost on the right and Zoom on the left, and that worked out pretty well because then I had a, then I had a big Mattermost chat, and I could still see everybody in the tiles in gallery view. Um, and that yeah, the only problem is like making anything out when the screen is being shared. You know, you it's too small yeah. to read as a horizontal image in a vertical pane. But yeah. Um, yeah. But anyway, aside from that minor drawback, I did think there was value in Mattermost. Um, and beyond the immediate value, like, you know, getting everybody in Mattermost and with its capacity for, you know, asynchronous direct messaging and, you know, searchability. I mean, it's, it's not quite Slack, but it's pretty good. And then certainly Zoom chat is so ephemeral, you know, and I save the chats, but like I barely have the energy to go back through them to find yeah. the stuff that I, I, think I know very few I want. People go, I think very few people go back and consult them. Yeah. Thanks, Michael. Um, okay, so an easy thing to do is to make another effort to move the chats during the calls over to Zoom. A second thing to do, I think, is to I think we create a, a money conversation channel, money and value or something like that. Just let's go create it. And then let's go take the three or four instigators on that thread on the Google group and say, hey, um, there's a nice new fresh plot of grass for you. It's yummy grass, it's really good, it's tasty. We planted like special little tasty grass um, and, and carry it over there. Uh, and then come back into the, Google group and say, hey, everybody, there's like good stuff happening over here, come follow us, et cetera. So let's do a little architecting. And then maybe a fourth thing is going back to our moderator group and saying, hey, can you help us? What do you think? What else should we do? How's this working? Yep, sounds right. I had one question about the Google group, which I <laughs> have just, I don't know, I'm sure Pete, you were the one to like notice Hey, this, there's a new um, there's a new application for being in the OGM um, whatever it is discourse what is um, yeah the forum the forum I just joined the forum I, maybe I was auto responded to but I, I figured I, I thought maybe somebody saw oh God we've got our first new membership in you know however many years um, but. I was looking around there and, you know, I, I know that Pete, you said it wasn't a valid course of action to like keep it there archivally because of privacy issues and all the work that would go into um, that. Yeah, I mean, Stacey, it, 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 it is being closed down and I was just like, you know. I, it, it's, uh, I, that, that sounds like a crosswire. We're gonna keep it the the information we're not going to oh oh okay it'll be read only there's, there's no privacy stuff that's that's a problem oh okay okay yeah. it's just going to be okay. static okay okay it's still viewable cool yep. and my well my question is only partially moot i mean the other thing i was i was wondering about was um and this gets into the conversation that um Pete, we were having in CTA context about um, chat slash communication in which every message was a file, which I also might have partially misunderstood, I'm not sure, but that is very interesting to me in the context of like these forum posts um, and, you know, ones that would be, you know, there are posts that are something like, you know, what he said, you know, or what she said that nobody's going to look for, but there are long essay posts that are valuable in a sort of knowledge graph of, you know, okay, this is uh, weaves together this subject and this subject, and it's worth finding and having that exist in whether it's, you know, factor, trove, uh, massive wiki, you know, some connectable, taggable context is 
something, you know, and, and I don't mean to say, or, I mean, and ideally, you know, um, and Jerry's brain, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm wondering about like, if there's any way to export posts on mass as objects um, to be the, the farm okay. posts are you know you could you could more or less do that with a farm post um, okay. like just as a URL as a as a link you could do it as a link um, yeah I if if it to take massive wiki for an example I, I would actually copy the whole post over as well and then put a link to the the original so that you could right. find the, the thread and stuff like that right um, um, Vincent might do that with Trove too. I, in fact, or you could you could do that too, right? Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, I, it would be it would be manual unless there was, you know, yeah. an RSS. Yeah, I think I, there there isn't any automation that does that. But it's you're totally right. Um, and that was kind of there was there was some intent to do that a little bit with the wiki um, uh, to use the wiki as a place. Uh, OGM wiki to use the wiki as a as a place that where you would construct you know sense make the stuff that's churning over in in the forum into something a little bit more the, the funny thing is the forum is actually already kind of it ends up being an archive of good stuff pretty much um, mm -hmm. so it would be the, the another good way to do it would be to have a post or a, a thread um, I forget what you call them a thread on um, OGM forum best of right um, you know, here's um, Stefan talking about, you know, whatever Stefan talked about, and here's, you know, um, Rob talking about, you know, so, um, uh, yeah, the, the other, the other, you, you started that with, I, I've got a question, and I think I'm gonna have to build it. Um, uh, I've, I've got need for, we've got need for things more Mattermost sized um, as individual files. Um, and that's gonna be a, a good thing to use in massive wiki with sync thing. And that's that's why that that's coming up. But it's but it's interesting to to talk about those things kind of together because um, uh, the way the way Bill and I are starting to use massive wiki, we you know it's we don't have the, the git cycle, it, it just flows you know you, you just do the massive wiki and it and it flows um so grabbing stuff like uh, load those posts off of the forum and putting them in a wiki and then having that kind of filter around the the network of wikis that are connected together is is kind of a thing that could happen yeah. um and i, I mean i, I think <laughs> sorry jerry we'll get to you all right. <laughs> it's, it's fun to see you in the role of <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, <laughs> the, the thing that I would love to crack is that, um, you know, figuring out a way for massive wiki and trove and factor and you to like, if you're adding a tag in one interoperate to the extent that it like can help people find stuff in another because the tag yeah. appends there yeah. um, which I know is a tall order and I have no technical knowledge of how that could possibly work. One way to start it is for somebody to, to stamp a UID on on that post um, a unique identifier of some mm -hmm. kind mm -hmm. and then as it floats around um, you know Trove, Trove could have or, or factor or massive wiki could publish a thing where it's like okay we've just added you know the tag um uh, energy policy to uid whatever and then it's a good idea um can't believe that we we like we um the you know the web 2 community did a bunch of this this work of syndicating information and you know doing kind of that kind of stuff and it's all like ancient history now and then of course before that there was like usenet and um and that was doing a bunch of that work that now we just don't even know about and you know we don't pick up the technology it's really weird how that happens jerry oh thanks <laughs> um so several things and i've got to bounce at the top of the hour to a different call um 
it, one of my longtime frustrations, one of the motivation, motivating forces for OGM is I've been on way too many private mailing lists where brilliant things get written and float on by and they go into the bit bucket because it's a private mailing list that's not searchable by Google. And I created a, a, a policy I didn't, I didn't <clears throat> promote way back when for Rex, which was, hey, let's post outside in, which means if you're about to have a really nice idea, um, don't write the whole idea in the damned email and send it to this private mailing list. Go, go make a blog post or, or whatever the present technology is of that time um, and then send us a link to that thing. And then we can have the conversation in semi-public um, and, and that benefits you, that benefits everybody, gets the idea, et cetera. I didn't really promote the idea of post outside in and nobody much does that. Although a bunch of people are busy writing posts and all that kind of stuff. So that's one of my frustrations. Um, so given that occasionally a bright little nugget floats by in the stream, I not infrequently will copy that nugget and then post, post it on a private thought in my brain that says <clears throat> Michael's thoughts about uh, sense, sense making, right? And I'll just put it under you and I'll, uh, I might connect it to the call where it occurred and then I'll paste the, the, the text that, that went by uh, you know, into the, the notes field of that thought in my brain. And that's just like, you know, it dies in obscurity in my brain, but I'm, but I'm busy trying to curate those and bring them out. Then another, an aspect of what we've been trying to do in OGM is try to separate the data layer away from the apps so that as anybody's busy tagging, curating, improving some node, um, it's better for everybody and it's improved for everybody. And we can all just kind of point to it and refer to it that the, the curation just happens in whatever tool anybody happened to use. That's a nice idea, but it, it doesn't really work yet. Um, in principle, it's one of the reasons why I think Markdown is interesting and why Pete is sort of over, you know, using Markdown as a, as a foundational um, structure uh, for uh, massive wiki, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but we don't have like metadata layered on top of that properly. And like we fail, at, 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 it's more complicated than just, hey, there's a bunch of Markdown files over there. Um, and then also we're busy drowning in flows and we don't have enough stocks. And then there's this whole conversation about, okay, so what should the stock look like? What does the big fungus look like? What is, what is, this, what is this scaffolding or infrastructure for the long-term shared memory? In particular, when we're using a variety of exotic tools, more or less, to curate and to, to create these nuggets of memory, right? Uh, and we don't have that question answered really well either, but it's a really nice endearing question that, you know, that if we manage to separate the data from the, from the, from the tools, I think that answer gets better somehow. I think, I think that having a healthy layer of soil, of data as soil, a loam, um, uh, is maybe metaphorically closer to the big fungus and also like maybe a, a place to aim. So, um, so for me, like, like I'm in, in frustration, I'm busy curating those nuggets when I see a good one full plan, like, damn, I got, I got to capture that and put it someplace where I'll find it. And hopefully somebody else will also find it here too. But if that were if it were an easier way to do that in common, that would be fantastic. And last thing I wanted to say was, in some sense, this is like live crabbing of good conversations, whether they're happening live in the Zoom and in the chat, or whether they're happening on some mailing list or whatever. But but you know the the the, the, the act of crabbing or context weaving or whatever we call it is this, and we should all more of us should be busy being practitioners of that. Uh, in a way that is easily shared. Yeah, I, I love that, Michael. And I'd like to put that in Mattermost, but I don't see uh, <laughs> a Mattermost chat for this call. So uh, there is a build OGM Mattermost. There's a, yeah, but I looked and saw that it was not called chat. Not. So, oh. but I'll, I'll stick it in there anyway, uh, out Great. of context. <laughs> Yeah, and I must bounce. I'm happy to leave the call open, or we can uh, we can fold. Anyone? Let's fold. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, All I got to right. answer my doorbell anyway. So cool. Oh Thanks, wait, 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 wait. One thing, one thing, one thing. You can turn off the recording if you want. But I got seven responses to what I asked you guys for. Yeah. However, and I don't know. Well, two Who things. From? <laughs> two people. Well, yeah, that's another thing. Two people though didn't fill out all nine. And I really need all nine. The other thing is, I don't know if two of you are some of the people. I know I have Wendy and Ken. Yeah, I did. Can I guess 
and I'm, and he well i don't want to know if you did nine or how many you did. jerry's gonna go <laughs> yeah, yeah i gotta go go ahead jerry i'm sorry um but anyway yeah how do i um so okay i just want you to know so you put something there if you're one of the people that didn't put nine i'm going to ask that you please do that michael's gone so i can't ask him which he's, makes he's gonna come back then. Oh. i'm back i tried to answer my door and then I, oh, sorry. I, he, I, just, I did answer and i did answer all nine okay um, and you didn't but, have to tell me that because i don't want to be able to figure out but i really want to, so how do i okay you, so you i know send, five send out you, you sent out that email already just send it out again Okay. The, the one that so says, by the way, we have, really, we have Pete, so, we have Michael, we have Ken, we have Wendy, we have me, we have Jerry. There's one more person. I'll just put the list up. Okay, I know what to do now. Cool. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. I'll see you at one. Well, my time one. Sounds good. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.